YouTube, what's happening? It is Thursday, October 24th, and it's time to talk NBA. Yesterday could have been better. It wasn't bad, but it could have been better. We had teams that just got absolutely ran off the court because the National Blowout Association is in full effect. You're going to have a few games every time you have a bunch of games where it's just a 30-point blowout, and you can't do nothing about that. So, so the stats are going to get skewed. It happens. So uh, we have four games today. We're going to talk about those four games. We're going to talk about their uh, schedule, and we're going to look at props and see what we can do look at their depth charts and whatnot so um the sheets coming together look at all these teams with some stats we got a few more to fill out and once they do i can fill the rest of this information out and then i can start using my actual sheet so hey love that so let's go ahead and jump into that first game we got boston and we got washington let's jump to it now so we can see that boston is a 13 and a half point favorite and i mean after that performance last Two days ago, who blames them? Because they were on fire. 232 and a half. Let's look over at the actual schedule and let's look at their depth chart again. We're going to do depth chart this week for all teams just until we get a flavor and a feel of who's starting for who. So, and who's playing and injuries and whatnot. I think it's a good thing to look at. It takes a few seconds, doesn't hurt anything. So, like for Washington, this is their first game. So they got Jordan Poole going out there. And you remember Jordan Poole was very inconsistent last year. His unders were printing last year. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bilal is your shooting guard. Kuzma is your small forward. Sar is the power forward. I don't, mm. and Valachino, this is not a good team. I'm just going to say this team, this team last year was a joke. You could tell they didn't care. Let's see how much they've improved this year. We'll call it that. And you know Boston, their team is a beast. Uh, other than that, Hauser's day to day, but other than that, they are full strength outside of Unicorns. Man himself, Porzingis, is out. I don't think they need him. He's just extra. When he's there, hey, great. They're just beasts without him. So they only have three Olympians starting and Jalen Brown. I mean, come on. So uh, let's go to props. <laughs> so, all right. So we want last five. Let's see. Uh, I can do 2024 if I want to. So we can see what, what, what is hit so far. 2024 is what I'm sorting by right here in this last column. This is Outlier. There's a link in the description. Get you a week for free. All you got to do is click it and sign up. It's easy. So. You can see everything 2024. This is everything that hit. And this is the Boston numbers obviously hit. We're not going to have Washington on the 2024 because they haven't played. So let's go last five. Let's just so we can get some Washington dudes in there. Um, the matchups, Jordan Poole under blocks, number one matchup. That ain't good. And if you want to go under, yeah, all day. So I just can't do that. I just, I mean, it's 294 Jordan Poole. I mean, sure. The matchups are not the best. Um, I want good matchups like Horford to get a steal is 22nd, maybe. Uh, t -t -t Valchunas under blocks. Like, come on. I want some good ones like Tatum points, like Derek White, PHR, P uh, PHR, PRA, PRA. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, 30 of Derek White over 20.5 points and rebounds, 80%, 30th matchup. You know he's going to play a bunch. He always does. I like this matchup. I like it a lot. Let's keep going. Tatum over 14 half first half points. That's something you could do. Um, let's see. Hauser to get two first quarter. I don't like first quarter. I hate first quarter points. You can do it if you want to. I just don't like it. Hauser three and a half rebounds and assists. I think I like Derek White because the dude is balls out. Uh, Tatum had his game. Now it feels like it's going to be a Jalen Brown game. You remember last year they kind of alternated back and forth. That's what they felt like they did a lot. So, um, you know what? I'm going to rock with it. I'm going to take that there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. Give me where to go. I just lost it. Come back to me. There it is. Derek White over 20.5 points and rebounds. It's good numbers. It's 30th. He hit 80% and he hit it last game. Let's take that for the prop. Uh, for the game though, who do I dare take Boston by 13 and a half? I think you got to, right? You have to. It's like... We don't Washington wasn't good last year and Boston looked amazing. So yeah, I'll take I'll take Boston 13 and a half. We'll take Derek White to get 20 and a half points and rebounds next. All right, game two. We're going to Spurs and Mavericks. We can see it is Dallas by seven and a half. Now both of these teams is their first game of the year, which is good. We get some stats. Uh, I think everybody is gonna play after today. So everybody will have at least one game because Oklahoma City, Sacramento, yes, San Antonio, yes, yes, Denver, Dallas. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Sweet. All right, perfect. So we can see the number seven and a half, 229. Let's pop over to the, the schedule. Let's look at their depth chart because this is a new one for us. Depth chart. So San Antonio, Chris Paul is the point guard. Chris Paul plus Victor Wembanyama might be a nasty combination. I'm just telling you because Chris Paul, he's not trying to score when he can just throw it up to this this 
freak of nature right here and let him do it. Uh, Jeremy's power four now. Harrison Barnes a small forward. Vassal's out, so most likely you're going to have... Um, Castle go in. I mean, Castle was good last year. Spurs have a little bit of a squad, don't they? It looks, it's not bad. It's kind of impressive a little bit. So I don't think they're going to be the worst team in the West. I think they're going to be, I think they'll be contention for like the playing games, if I had to guess. I think they'll be a little bit better. So let's look at Dallas. Luca, Kyrie, Clay. That just, Clay not on Golden State. It feels so weird. But if Clay cannot, if Clay can play better, then hey, good job. PJ is, I like PJ. PJ is awesome. And then Gafford. That's just, that's a nice, Gafford took over for Lively. Okay. That's cool. Whatever. That's the, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to props. Um, I'm already leaning. I'm leaning, I'm leaning over 229 and a half, but we'll see. Uh, so last five. I mean, you got to go Wemby or maybe Ka Luca. I mean, let's just, I mean, we can look through these. These are all last year numbers, but um, hmm, what do we want to go with? Let's, let's look and see who has great matchups. Ooh, there's so many things you can take in this game. So many things. It's like, okay, uh, let me just go player wise. Let's just mix up. Let's go Wemby first. So Wemby, you know, is going to do certain things. Uh, the last five. He over five to him get five assists against Dallas. He hit that in last five and nine out of ten and seventy out of percent out of twenty. I might have to go Wemby assist. That's pretty sneaky of a play. It's good odds too. Um, Wemby smart a. It's only on prize picks though. Uh, nope, fifteen and a half everywhere else. See prize picks, you don't get the best numbers sometimes. Uh, Wemby ra is fifteen and a half and he hit that eighty percent of the time. Great matchup. I'm going to take a Wemby prop. I'm almost positive because he's not going to have this minutes restriction like he had last year. It's the start of the season. I think he's going to try to ball out. I can see him getting this number. I mean, he's he's not going up against B center, so he should be able to do work. He's, yeah. Mm, what's his PRA though? 42.5. Oh, damn. That's high. Uh, <laughs> I might just focus on RNA. I think I like RA. Okay, let's go. Let's, uh, let's look at Luca. So we already have Victor. Let's look at Luca. There he is. Let's see if we like any of his. He doesn't have the best matchup. 39 and a half PRA. No, that's PA. It was PRA. 48 and a half. Does Luca come out and drop like a 40 burger game one? He could. Just come out and show out and show you. Uh steals and blocks. That's a thing. Okay. See, we got options. I think I think this is gonna be Wemby is Wemby's already like leading in like the uh, odds for most improved player too, which is like what you're <laughs> we expect you to be good. All right, give give me Wemby RA. We're gonna go Wemby 15 and a half RA, and I'm gonna take over 232.5 in this one, and we'll go to that next game. All right, moving on to game three. We have Oklahoma City and Denver, both of them making their season debuts as well. We can see that Denver is a one and a half point favorite at home with a 227 and a half total. Let's look over at the actual teams. Uh, Nuggets depth chart, the Rich Creamies. They got Jamal Murray at the point, Braun at the shooting guard, Porter at small forward, Gordon, who just got paid, power forward, and Jokic. That is a beast lineup. And then Westbrook coming off the bench is just this wild. Dude, yeah, I kind of want to see how many minutes he's actually going to play. Is he, if he's going to get like 20-ish minutes off, 20, 25 minutes off the bench and just be like that spark plug off the bench, that's going to be fun to see. So uh, so you have that. Let's look at Oklahoma City. Uh, Shy is a point. Caruso, yeah, what a yeah, what a pickup they got there. Uh, Dort, small forward, Jalen, and Chet. That is, a nice, that is a nice lineup that you got. Aaron Wiggins, Joe. Yeah, so Jalen Williams being out. Uh, it's a little bit of a thing, but not not that major. Not that major. So pretty sick lineup for both teams, let's be honest. Two of the top teams in the West. They're going at it. This is clear. That's just a fact. So uh, let's pop over to props. See what we got. So we're going, we don't want Minnesota. We want Denver. Oklahoma City, Denver. So who are we going to look at? Since we don't have stats, the fun, you know, we'll kind of do like we did last game. We can roll through these real quick and see if we got some good matchups, if anything that stands out. But we're going to probably look at the stars. We're going to look at Jokic because he's a walking triple-double whenever he's in the game. You just know this. So, um, you know what the hell with it. Let's just go to Jokic. Jokic. Nikola. Here we go. Let's we'll see. Triple-double. He's hit in the last five games. What? <laughs> no, under. Sorry. That's under. I, got, I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, under triple-double, he hasn't hit. But remember, these are like playoff time, so 
we got to see how he is in the first game. Um, I want his PRA. His PRA is 47.5. He hit that in 60%. Um, I don't know why I'm just set to all. Let's go to overs only so I can see it. Yeah. Blocks, you can see what he's done. Points and assists, 35 and a half. I might go with that. That seems good. I can see this being a very high scoring game. We'll see that. Okay. Uh, PR is 38 and a half. If you want the whole thing, it's 47. Uh, not the best matchups. It could be better. If you want better matchups, you might want to come down here to his RA. But maybe he just, you know, gets his 15 assists. He usually gets with like seven rewards and boom, you're good. You hit it. There you go. Uh, but it's only 40%. I don't like those numbers. All right. So let's go look at like Shy. Because Shy will get points. We know that. He's good for those. Let's see what his matchup is. His matchup isn't good. Look at the red. That's a terrible matchup. So I don't, I already don't like that. So let's just, do we have any good matchups in this game? Aaron Gordon? Uh, I'm not seeing any good matchups. Not really nothing I like in this one so far. Ooh, I'm not, I'm going to take a prop though. Let's go to threes. That's, that's a whole, always fall back on the threes if you got to. And there you go. Dort to make two threes is 100% in the last five and 10 and 80 in the last 20. But Denver has really good three defense. Christian Bond to hit a three is there. Caruso to hit a couple threes. Ooh. Mm. I mean, there's so many things you could take that I just don't love anything. Um, man. All right, let's just go unders. Let's just go under. See if something's in there. All right. Under, shy, points, and assists. I don't really want to go under in the first game of the season, though. Oh... Let me pause and think about this. Okay, I'm back, and I found something. I don't know if it's... it's, it's mm. I'm going Aaron Gorn over three and a half assists. He's hit it in eight of the 80% of the last five games, 70 in the last 10, 75% of the last 20. Uh, it's a plus EV play on top of it, so you're getting better odds on it. So I don't like any props, really. Nothing stands out, but I'm going to take one for you. I'm going to take Aaron Gorn to get us four assists. We'll just go with that. Now, in the game itself, let's pop back up to the number. I 130, 110. What's the number? It is 227. I'm going over. This feels like it could be easily over in this one. So we're going to go over in this one. We're going to take Gordon to get over three and a half assists and go to that last game. All right, last game, we got Minnesota Sacramento. And we can see it is Minnesota by one and a half on the road. They've already played one game we saw. And 220 is your total. Let's look over at the rosters. Now, we've already looked at Minnesota once, but we'll look at them again because why not? We can see Conley, Edwards, Jaden, Julius, Rudy, and you can see their backups. Uh, DiVincenzo, Reed, and Ingles mainly. Looks like they're going to try to rock with like a, an eight-man rotation mainly. Um, that's about it. So, And then Sacramento, we can look at their depth chart, and we can see Fox, Herder, uh, Herder, DeBrosen, Murray, Sabonis. And then we got Monk coming off the bench, probably the favorite for six-man of the year. Uh, Len, you can see the team there. So... Let's pop over and look at the props. Uh, so far, again, I'm leaning over. I just, West Coast over. It's just, I don't know why. I just like them. So they feel low at the start of the year, but we'll see. Um, just, I've taken a couple unders. I've gotten burned. So let's see what stands out here. Uh, the main thing I'm going to look for, because I've already looked through this. There's not many greens. I'll tell you right, right now. Not many greens on the matchups. A lot of just, mm, so. So if we don't have greens, we got to go yellow or orange, whatever you want to call it. Murray, Herder, um, Kevin's going to shoot some threes. We know that much. That's what he likes to do. Uh, DeRozan to hit a three. Just one three. Can DeRozan hit one three-pointer against Minnesota's third-ranked defense? We'll see. Uh, Sabonis is probably... What's Sabonis PRA? That's always crazy. Uh, all right, I decided. I am going to go with Fox because I think... You know, I. And I know uh, DeRozan's there, but this is still Fox's team. So Fox is going to be the, the one in charge of everything. I'm going to take him points and assists because I think if, if he'll get his points, even if he has like a lower game of like 20-inch points, I think he'll get enough assists passing off to people like DeRozan, Sabonis, and whatnot to be able to get his. So and then it's the first matchup. It's not the best, but we already saw Minnesota once, and they didn't look the best. So, uh, yeah, I'll take Fox over 28.5 points plus assists and the over in the game. So... That's it for this. Let's pop over to the calendar. Let's look at what they got going on the rest 
let's see, tomorrow on Friday, there's a handful of games. So we'll be back tomorrow for more NBA talk and we'll break these games down as well. I should, I might even have my sheet ready by tomorrow because we'll have all these second game teams. So perfect. I appreciate you watching. Drop a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments who you're going to take and we'll see you tomorrow for more NBA. Peace.